Welcome back to this Let's Play of The Last Remnant. Last time we went hunting for manhunters. Um, don't think about it too hard. Anyway, uh, just doing guild tasks. Before we can actually do the guild task, which unlocks uh, Mystic Seal formation though, we have to get through Mount Vackle. Uh, because you have to complete the story element before the monster we're looking for will spawn. But. Uh, There are a variety of enemies here. I may eventually kill some of them for their drops, but um, it'll be a while. Hi, Mr. Imp. Just take the map out from right under his nose. There are probably some dig points here I should mess with, but I'm not going to do it right now. These uh, Vanergans, I think they're called, are actually a little bit annoying. Um, they will, if you just run straight away from them, they will catch you. So what you have to do is sort of take a little veer to the side. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to fight this bird. Uh, you can do get past it by veering to the side. These birds, you, they usually just move faster than you do. Period. So you can either time shift around them or you can fight a couple. I guess I'll just fight a couple. Compared to the uh, the Manhunters, this is going to be a joke. So they're not totally flawless enemies, they do have some points. As in, I expect this battle will go into two rounds. Maybe not. Guess not. Oh well. Sweet. We did gain a battle line for two fighting those uh, those manhunters, but well, we're just gonna have to deal with it. Avoid him more rapidly. Because we're almost at the zone line. And Mount Vackle, for the most part, is just a straight shot. You know, it's not like sort of a curving path, but there's no not a whole lot of options and places you need to make decisions. There are sometimes more unusual enemies who will spawn in that location there. I'm just going to speed past these birds. You can actually dodge them by uh, just walking past them if you're fast and you're lucky, but, well, I don't really trust my fastness or my luckness, so... up to the top here. There's another bird here. Hopefully we won't have to fight him. But up at the top of the mountain is, well, another bird. And we're going to have to fight this one because it's a boss. Come on out. Actually, I think you can avoid fighting it if you want. Okay, but later. regardless, I'm going to save first. Eh, yeah, let's just avoid it. Yeah. I'm indecisive, so sue me. Heaven's lore. And presumably, like most of the uh, big bird type enemies, he will curse whoever attacks the first round. That's always just the first round, so... And we actually just resisted all of it, so... Yeah, unfortunately. 
Jägermeister got bitten by the curse. Now, any squad will get cursed, but because um, Blockter is there with his wonderful little wonder mangle, he doesn't, they don't stay cursed. And here it is, taunting me with the skill that I want to learn. It's not really all that vicious a skill for when enemies use it against you. And all it does is drop your AP to zero. But most of those end-of-turn boss attacks um, will only work if the boss actually has AP. So you can avoid them if the boss has no AP to use. And for the Fallen, which is the quest that I'm sort of working up towards. Um, if you don't stop his end of round actions, well, let's just say it ends badly. It doesn't actually, that tactic doesn't actually work as well on the PC version as it does with the, S with the Xbox 360 version. You can't actually um, prevent him from using the I win button, but you have 10 turns until then, so it's also much easier to pull off on the the uh, PC version because you can turn off all of your other acts uh, and just automatically ensure that you're using Kachet. We'll get into that in great detail soon enough. Now, the space where this bird is, is exactly where Spirit Beast Rin spawns. And the zone out the other side is just behind it. So you have to make that entire walk if you want to see if Spirit Beast Rin is up. There are a couple clues um, that will tell you essentially whether he might possibly be there, but most of the time you're going to have to make the full walk each time just to find him. And I think it's like a 1 in 8 chance that it'll spawn. So. It's frustrating and it's really sort of annoying that such an important tool, uh, Mystic Seal Formation, is behind such a, you know, at least it feels like you get something from the work, but... I was not expecting this guy to have quite so many hit points.
I was, was, however, expecting him to be not quite such a pushover when it comes to his damage. I don't think I've lost a union yet. Now, every so often you'll run into these I items that are called, they have Eld, Splitter, or there's a one for each weapon type. Um, sometimes your characters will request them, but the main sort of advantage to them is they're worth a lot of money. So, I have no interest in this captured Heaven's Lord, so I'm just going to break it up for components. Oh, an atrocious pot. Mm, great. But now that we've done that, that opens up Lindelwald. And I do not want to actually walk into that town. The instant you do, this quest disappears. And mm, this quest has only been available, I think it's once you clear the six bases. It's, it's not open for very long at all. Wingale here is the quest giver for the Fallen, and, well, there are a couple other quests I can do here, actually, but this is the important one. This is the one that you can miss, so next time, uh, I'm going to, just off-screen between videos, go find Spirit Beast Rin, and, you know, that'll probably take me a while, but see you then.